air basket on these systems. You want to first shut the unit off. Let the pressures go down. Make sure you're not falling a hard suction. Then you open up the basket strand. The lid is attached, so all you have to do is let these flop down. Lifts up. Inside the basket strainer, if you can show a shot of the inside, there's all the floating debris that's in the car wash. So there's right now on a new construction, there's plastic and glue and things like that. So we want to catch those in the strainer basket. And this is what it collects inside here. You can get a close up. We've got rocks, grit, and then this would go in the trash. And then put it back in. If the basket doesn't have water in it, we would have to reprime it. But we'll see how if it kicks over on the first try. If not, we'll have to fill the basket with, with water. Do you have a water hose in here? Okay. These are just going on hand tight. Since this is new, the O ring looks great. When they get old, sometimes the O ring falls out and they get stepped on or they could get dry and cracked cracked and it will let air go in. So you want to watch out. These are only hand tight. Don't let anybody sit here with a screwdriver and crank it down. Alright, so that's all you do. Make sure those are tight. Go back to the pump. Go to hand. See how it's pulling a nice hard suction? It's bringing water in. Got a three minute timer. So if it doesn't pull in in three minutes, it will automatically shut itself down, but we're primed, we have pressure here, we have pressure here, so I'm going to switch this back to auto, and that's all there is to it, that's once a week. While you're doing that, then you check the gross particle filter here on the oxygen concentrator, if it's dirty, clean it, that's more of a once a month.